Hi everyone, you might remember a directory browser app we had um, from a couple of weeks ago where we could click on browse and select one of the directories which will give us then the list of directories within that uh, folder. So this is one way to do it and let's add a graphical user interface um, or build an application that will use something similar but in a slightly different way. We get rid of that, we don't need this. New class, graphical directory browser app. Let's go with that. Yep. New, same, create content, and what do we want? We want something like a scroll bar, I think. Because we want all the directories like in a horizontal line. Ideally, it will be like, you know, what you see in the File Explorer uh, on Windows or on a similar um, operating system UI kind of. That will go simple. So HBox is going to contain all of uh, the directories. We're going to put it through the scroll bar, which is going to, no, why can't I do this? Set content. Oh, is it scroll pane as the container? Yeah, that might be it. And then I don't actually know what to put here. Maybe a stack pane, something like this will do. We don't particularly care about the overall root layout, but we'll see. Preferred size. Something like that, right, done. So I need to populate this thing now somehow. Um, Hbox, get children, and new, let's go for a rectangle, 1440, and another rectangle. I just want to see what this looks like. Um, in fact, we can just repeat this thing a couple of times. That should do it. And spacing, something like 15. And let's give this a go. What do we get? That is fine. Yeah, that'll do. So what we want, two things. One is a graphical representation of a folder directory. Two is to actually do the logic, read from the file system, populate the thing. Um, directory view, there we go. That's going to be um, vertical box maybe. We need a name that is more or less what we need, right? We need something else. Uh, we need a path. An actual representation, logical representation of this directory. Um, probably want to store this somewhere. I'm going to render the name into some kind of a text object, I think. And then have rectangle as a view kind of thing. Um, I 
Let's go for 75.50. Um, no fill, but uh, stroke of color. Um, oh, let's go black, I guess. And then something inside it, actually. Something like light um, sea green, um, yellow. Yellow will do. Get children add all um, the rectangle and then text. So the, the rectangle will appear as a view, as an icon, and below it there will be some text which actually tells us the name of the directory. Set spacing to 10 or 5. <clears throat> can now populate with dummy data uh, directory view name could be source and paths get uh, something like this So this does. Um, it's kind of you know nineties ish look, I guess. I'm not going to do anything about it, um, but you'll have an idea of what to change over here. Might increase the font on this thing um, to something relatively big. Font font twenty four. Uh, maybe center it as well. Set alignment position top center. Yeah, that will do. So, what do we want? We want to be able to click on one of these things and go inside the directory. The view will be cleared and it will be populated with the new directories um, contents and that will be it for the tutorial right where do we start um, I suppose we want to first populate um, via a function pilot void um, set contents of a directory and that will populate the directory view so as you can see we're not actually doing a lot in terms of logic so everything is stored in the view more or less <coughs> Create content, uh, do all of this stuff, and then finally set contents to paths get the current directory. I think this gives us the current directory, yeah? In which the user has started the application. And then using this, we should be able to read just one level below into the directory, populate children of each box, and we're good. Files, uh, walk. Yeah, there is an overload which gives us max depth, which is one. So this is the starting point. This is how many levels to go. And this is likely to throw an exception. So let's catch it and then kind of ignore it, I guess. Um, is this a stream? Yeah, so for each uh, content directory, we're going to do this. I suppose you could say something 
uh, cannot walk directory. You know, ju just some information to the user. Um, we'll use the name of the directory. So get get what do I want to get? Get file name is probably what we need. Returns a path. Uh, which we can say to string, hopefully. This is getting long. Oh, actually not too bad. So, get file name. This is the file name of the directory. As far as I can understand, we'll see. And this needs to be... Oh, content there. Just it. Nice. And we need to remember to clear all the children of age box. Let's go for it. Looks okay. Oh, it's including the files as well. That is not what we want. We do not want files. We want only the directories. So, we filter uh, path files is directory. Which means it will only go into the for each loop if it's a directory. And it looks like these are all the directories, which is correct. Let's go into source. Oh, we didn't actually do anything in terms of user interface. Okay, um, right. So each of those directory views needs to be clickable. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. That's easy. View, view, view. We can simplify it very nicely to this, which means we only need to add something like on mouse clicked. Mouse clicked, we recurse into this thing by using the views directory. That's perfect. So if I get, get inside source, I can see, well, you, I don't know. Um, what's your preference? Do you want to keep it as the directory itself? Because that kind of doesn't make any difference like you can go and click you can keep clicking on it and it'll be the same directory we should be able to go into main uh, um, java assets sounds and that's it okay i think that is it for today um there is an obvious extension to this which is to add the three dots symbol, which is going to give you um, a way to navigate back. Otherwise, you can just only go one way. It's not much of a feature in which case, because you'll have to restart the entire application to be able to navigate anywhere else. So your very first thing should be here, not the name of the folder itself the um, an ellipsis symbol uh, the three dots and that should probably be added first so somewhere here and because the constructor is already there for directory view all you need to figure out is which directory uh, to use for the file name you simply do dot 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 okay uh, there are various extensions to this. I mean, you can turn this into a full-blown thing, like uh, and actually use it for something. Apart from that, uh, we mostly covered things that we already did before. So just creating a class as a view, extend vertical box, which is going to position items vertically. 
we added an event handler and we use the NIO API from JDK to populate our directories and views. Cool. On that note, thanks for watching. I'll see everyone later.